Hey, meanwhile, if you're looking for the picture perfect blue bonnet photo, you don't have to look too far. Traffic expert Madison Sawyer takes us down to Ennis in this week's One Tank Trip. It's amazing. Shades of blue. It's just special. And white. I just think it's fantastic that people get to experience this. Forming something unlike anything else in the world. Sometimes you can't even see one flower, it just looks like a sea of flowers. Hop on the Blue Bonnet Trail and travel along 45 miles of roads where blue bonnets and wildflowers blanket the horizon. And that's why Ennis is the official Blue Bonnet City of Texas. And there's so many beautiful hills to see out in the country, you know, along with the wildflowers and the blue bonnets. The blue bonnet spirit is what Ennis is about. And the blue bonnet spirit and history is something Erica Todd and her family have brought to life. So the house is just over 120 years old. Taking old and forgotten homes around town. From top to bottom, this house had uh, wallpaper, old timey horsehair cheesecloth wallpaper. <laughs> so if you look, you can see all these nails. Well, we had to burn all of it off. And giving them a new life. And so we thought we can restore it and then just keep the love in it by having people come stay, you know, for the weekend or, you know, long term, whatever they need. There is history and friendly faces around every corner in town. Thank you, Harvey, and I'll mark those other ones paid for you. Faces like Juliana Gilmore, whose family history can be seen hanging on the walls of Felsman's. That's my grandfather and my grandmother. And then this picture is my grandfather, grandmother, and my dad is in the middle as he is a little boy. Same building, same ownership, same family for 90 years. Yes, it was my grandfather's, then my dad's, and then I'm third generation. Showing that every step you take and every shop you walk into no, enjoy. is another reminder that history and the spirit of Blue Bonnets is alive and well in Ennis, Texas. We're just a, a gas tank away from coming. Just come see us down in, in Ennis. Madison Sawyer, CBS 11 News. One tank trip, and that sure is pretty to look at. <laughs> Millions of dollars are being poured into downtown after many of the historic buildings, by the way, were hit by a tornado. It's going back a few years, back to 2013, so six years ago, and they've made quite the, quite the wonderful recovery. Got to pay a visit there. Thank you so much for watching CBS 11 News, the ones for Texas. The we're CBS not... 11 News at 5 is next.